Okay, so the the Roo officer, low acuity or low, local area referral unit, um, is it's a single officer role um, and it's tailor made for those who have got a bit more, say, five years plus experience in the role. And it's designed, it's aimed at, um, at going out and assessing patients and treating them um, who uh, sort of fall into the low acuity category of work. Um, so you won't you won't be sent to any heart attacks or you know chest pains or births or car crashes unless you happen to be the absolute closest for miles. Uh, and it's a, it's a critical issue that needs to be addressed because I'm a Larue officer is one level up from the ACP level two. So I've put them at back to going back to that scale. I put them at a seven out of ten as opposed to the five or six, because um, they're, they're trained in extra things like I can do stitches and glue for lacerations, that, that's my criteria. Uh, we can use lignocaine to, to, to help numb the side and do other things um, when giving certain drugs to relieve pain, uh, to reduce the pain of administration. Um, so it's a slight extended role, but one of the key facets of this particular role is that um, the rule was, was created to help relieve the burden of patient demand on the health system of the hospitals. So I am qualified to assess patients and then leave them at home if they are deemed suitable. Um, I'm also trained in wound management, so I can look at a wound and decide if it's healing okay on its own or it needs dressing or um, skin tears. I can um, fix a skin tear and then decide if it needs to stay at home or could stay at home or needs to be transported. And even then, if I transport, we have the extra sort of um, ability to go, okay, you don't need a hospital. You need a clinician. You can go to a hub, like a health hub for this, or maybe we can get you in back in with your GP. Um, so it doesn't have to be a hospital. The hospital is the, the best, highest level of, of care, but in most cases, a, a doctor's clinic can do the same thing that will be required that the hospital will do anyway, like um, intravenous antibiotics for some clinics. Uh, basic trauma for a laceration that, that if it's outside of my scope of practice, like I can't do joints or certain, you know, areas of the body that are considered high risk. But, um, you know, these local local low trauma clinics can, can do that just like the hospital can. Um, and sometimes we can leave them at home, give them advice and, and um, say, look, try this, try this. And if that doesn't help, then call us back. And um, it's not frowned upon, but it's got to be done with a certain level of, um, clinical now because a lot of things can be missed um, one of the classic conditions that we go to or sort of say categories not a specific condition is you go to patients who are actually chronically ill and they're dealing with long term illness that cannot and won't be cured so it's more managing the condition rather than fixing it on the spot or taking it to a place for a quick fix because uh, these patients um some of them are dying slowly, yes, and some are just managing a, a chronic illness until such time that um, it may not kill them, but it'll they'll die with it. And so these patients have a higher um, possibility of getting septic or getting conditions that um, a, a subcondition that it can often be missed, um, or it could be a new onset of a new condition that gets um, drowned out by their presenting chronic illness. And so we've, we've got extra assessments. So we can do like a, a focused cardiac assessment, focused abdominal assessment or a respiratory assessment or a musculoskeletal or a neurological assessment, like check the cranial nerves and sometimes isolate a problem that may not have been found. Um, mm. With actually read an article for our local Insight magazine uh, that's internal for QAS. And it was basically showcasing the LaRue um, clinical scope because I went to this mystery patient who had something wrong and he couldn't tell me what. I, and I basically went through each assessment in step and I found nothing. And he, he needed a transport crew and I spent 40 minutes waiting for this crew. And the last thing I did was one final assessment in my arsenal of training. And I found what it was that this guy had had that was new and it matched all his presentation. Now I didn't know exactly what it was, but I said, look, he needs to go to a hospital for that, I found something that's not right. Because any yeah. other crew would have gone, mm, I don't know, we'll just take it to hospital for something. Um, they wouldn't have maybe found it because um, they they don't go through the training of this particular focused assessment that we can do. So LaRue has a few areas of 
a benefit, I guess, where it keeps people out of hospital where they don't need to be there. Got a few extra um, skills so we can do t treatment at home and then leave them at home if it's deemed appropriate. And the other thing is to find sometimes the more uh, hidden uh, um, problems of people that experiencing that may not be found by standard um, you call we haul mentality type 